Hey everybody, welcome to the program. I'm Andrew Knox in for Gordon today. Israel's prime minister is doubling down on accusations. The Biden administration is slow walking weapons shipments and says it's been going on for months. Well, today, Israel's defense minister is in Washington for talks about the war in Gaza and increased tensions on the northern border. Some countries are warning their citizens to get out of Lebanon, anticipating all-out war. CBN's Julie Stahl has that story. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu expressed appreciation for U.S. support and said his government has privately raised the issue of weapons delays with U.S. officials before going public. About four months ago, there was a dramatic drop in the supply of armaments arriving from the U.S. to Israel. For weeks, we've asked our American friends to speed up the shipments. We did it time and time again. We did this in the upper ranks and in all ranks. And I want to emphasize, we did it behind closed doors. The White House denies its slow-walking arms shipments, but the Times of Israel reports that a U.S. official told the news organization that it's no longer fast-tracking weapons as it did in the days after October 7th. On Israel's Channel 14, Prime Minister Netanyahu said of the fighting in Gaza, the intensive phase of the war is about to end. He also said he's open to a partial pause and hostage deal, but the war won't end until Hamas is destroyed. Today, Israel's defense minister is in Washington to brief U.S. officials about the fighting in Gaza and the escalating conflict with Hezbollah in the north. Retired Israeli Ambassador Yoram Ettinger says Israel needs to regain deterrence against future attacks, and that victory, not diplomatic agreements, is the best way to achieve that goal. We have had litany of agreements concluded between Israel, Hamas, and Hezbollah, and now we know very well that each agreement concluded with Hezbollah and with Hamas have been only means to enhance their destructive capabilities. Iranian-backed terrorists in the region are reportedly ready to fight alongside Hezbollah if full-scale war breaks out. Iran has hinted it also might get involved. In Lebanon, whistleblowers at the Beirut airport tell a British paper Hezbollah is storing huge amounts of weapons from Iran there. A top Lebanese transportation official denies those claims, which, if true, could make Beirut's airport a legitimate military target for Israel. Other countries are taking a possible war in Lebanon seriously. Kuwait told its citizens to leave the country, and Canada is already reportedly planning the evacuation of some 45,000 citizens from the country. Julie Stahl, CBN News, Jerusalem.